here we are we're gonna go out to the range and pick up some scrap made these boxes quarter inch mesh and one by four one eight foot piece some handles saw another fellow on YouTube sorry I can't remember his name but he made those and was pretty successful after making those I hadn't even got to the range yet I decided to upgrade and I made a grizzly basically uh, two foot by two foot quarter inch uh, drilled steel and I angled it down to go right into a five gallon bucket got a little angle on it you can see there so we're gonna go out to the range here in a little bit we'll have to do it at night because we don't want to get shot because it's a really busy public range so we'll continue this in a few okay here we are tonight at our local range so we don't get shot we come out here at night this is our shaker table it had a little problem it was working good here's our grizzly we made there's our boxes we did uh because there was so much trash i decided to bring my leaf blower so we started blowing off the berm here on this hillside and check out what happened this is all bullets they're just blowing the dirt off and it's just solid it's like a pneumatic mining so we're gonna pick those up and we'll blow off some more and show you how fast we probably get like 10 pounds of lead demo and there's all the bullets everywhere look at all of them okay here's my stash of lead so far I've got about 180 pounds there I think that the mining of the berm at the shooting range was a success I think we're just gonna change things up a little bit. I want to go with a larger mesh screen because we really want to concentrate on getting the 9, 40, and 45 caliber bullets because that's the most lead, the quickest, and most efficient. We don't want all the little stuff. So by upsizing our screen, I think we can accomplish that. Um, we got a few other tricks up our sleeve. We'll see if they work and we'll, we'll post our next outing with some crazy video. A little more video at night we'll get some more lights out there i got one little sneak peek at my dripper i'm building with a stand i'm not done with it this is the little prototype okay here we are melting bullets down the uh kettle's hot bullets are melting the uh only problem i've had is some of the clays the ones that have a yellow core they kind of melt down and they smoke a lot and stink horribly. But other than that, I'm going to town. We probably have about 100 pounds melted so far. Okay, here I am. Here's my contraption. Pump and cool it up into there. There's my dripper. It's getting warm right now, just starting to melt the lead. I got a barrel here. And my kettle. Got 100 pounds of lead in there. Got extra lead there. One pound thing gets ready to go. This thing's going to start dripping pretty soon. Let's see how it goes. I drilled a hole in the bottom of my ammo can. A quarter inch hole. So hopefully the shot will run out of that and not fill it up and overflow the thing. We'll see. Okay, it's been a little bit of work getting it running, but there it is. Dripping away at least uh, nine out of ten of them. It's got one that's kind of probably plugged. But run it into there, pump it full with a big circle. Any shot that comes out, hopefully it'll fall in that yellow bucket. My kettle's still bumping over here. I keep adding lead to that. And this is supposed to drop 70 pounds an hour. So almost a, a little more than a pound a minute. So it's a, a little bit of work to keep up with it. Okay, I'm gonna check the shot here and see what it looks like. 
Uh-oh, looks like I sprung a leak on my uh, my pump over there. So, there it is. Pretty nice looking shot. Every time I watch a video of someone making shot online, that's what I want to see. Is what does the shot look like? So here I am with some of the shot that I dropped. It was a kind of a messy batch, but I was just playing with my new setup. And I'm, I'm screening it. And that's kind of the lumps from the beginning when it wasn't warm enough. As, as the dropper gets warmer, it makes better, better shot. So we got two screens. This one's eighth inch holes and the other one is 16th inch which ends up giving me from number six to number nine. If this was a little bit smaller, I could get seven to nine, but for now, I just leave them like that and they're great practice shot. Well, here it is, some pretty good looking shot. I'm gonna roll around this towel and dry it and then uh, tumble it with a little bit of graphite and load some shells and go shoot it tomorrow. That's uh, pretty much the process. Okay, here we are in the garage again. This is a bunch of uh, lead shot we dropped and I'm going to put it in a standard rock tumbler with a little bit of graphite. We'll uh, tumble this for, I do it for about four hours doesn't seem to matter how long. The longer the better it gets shinier and more round. And it's so gentle it doesn't really hurt the shot. It still shoots great. So I sometimes leave it in there overnight. But I'll tumble this and then we'll stop it and open it and check it out. Okay, here we are. The lead's been polishing for about four hours. Gonna unplug this. Pop this open. See what's inside here. Check it out, see how it looks. There you go. Look at that. Nice and shiny. You can see a few dimples and uh, with the dimples they say the coolant I'm running needs to be a little thicker. So I'll try and thicken that up for the next batch and see if it comes out a little bit nicer. So yeah, we'll load some of it up and go shoot it now. Okay, here's my Hornaday loader. There's uh, about 60 pounds of shot we dropped. Some more in that ammo can. We've gone through about 200 pounds in the last three months. So here we go. I'll drop a shell. I'll load one here. My rounds come out right here. There we go. Keep loading them time and time again. So that's how we take lead from the pistol range and take it out to the trap range. Appreciate you watching. Have a good one.